Fans praised Dwayne Johnson's daughter, Ava Rain, for Vengeance Day, despite hate towards The Rock. The Rock found himself in the middle of a social media furor after it was indicated that The Great One will possibly replace Kobe Rhodes in facing Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40. That said, his daughter Ava Rain's recent achievements gave out the utter opposite emotion. Dwayne Johnson's daughter just executed a stellar Vengeance Day event after taking up the charge as the youngest general manager. Ava Rain commenced a brand new era at Vengeance Tonight. The first major event of the year featured a lot of quality matches on the card. From Braun Breaker and Baron Coben attaining the Dusty Cup to Dijak coming out with a smooth victory, the segments and outcomes were what fans couldn't get enough of. Amidst the uncertainty of the WWE main roster, Vengeance Day 2024 went down with the promise of a brighter future. And the new general manager has to be the obvious one to be given the credit. She did an excellent job and owned her right to brag about it. As soon as the event ended, Rain wrote on Twitter, is unmatched argue with your mama. Fans completely are in sync with her pride and acknowledge the same in the comments. Fans seem convinced that WWE future is in safe hands. WWE had a massive impact last month on the Johnson family. Not only did they welcome The Rock as the new TCO board member, but they also elevated his daughter Ava Rain's position by placing her into the developmental brand's general manager chair. The former member of the schism who has studied the tricks and trades of the business under Shawn Michaels in recent months had gained the trust to carry out the crucial duty of a GM by none other than her predecessor, William Regal. She lived up to the faith and fans couldn't be happier about that. They fully put their trust in the new youth manager of the yellow brand. These users highlighted the high quality additions of since Rain took over. We are looking forward to getting more Ava Rain effects on in the future. What's your take on fans lauding Ava Rain for this week's Banger Vengeance Day? However, alleged details on the Rock's deal with WWD ahead of WrestleMania 40 have surfaced, and they make one decision regarding Cody Rhodes even more baffling. By now, even those outside the wrestling world are generally aware of the WWE drama circling Dwayne, The Rock Johnson, and Kobe Rhodes. On Friday, Rhodes inexplicably gave away his chance at a rematch with undisputed champion Roman Reigns, handing it to The Rock in a move fans are still questioning days after the fact. Now, new details have emerged that only make these events all the more baffling especially in regards to a recent booking decision made by WV. The ongoing situation has sparked a fairly massive backlash from wrestling fans, and the latest from Wrestling Observer Radio makes it seem like more disruptive and boo-heavy audiences could continue having an impact at upcoming WD events going forward. It's possible this plotting goes back further than Seth Rollins' injuries and CM Punk's dinged-up arm and The Rock may have been primed for headliner status against Roman Reigns for a while. The plan for The Rock to face Roman Reigns was allegedly in place before the Royal Rumble. According to a February 5 report from Wrestling Observer Radio via Reddit, the deal was in place for Dwayne The Rock Johnson to main event at WrestleMania as a perk of sorts for joining the TKO board of directors. The deal was said to be put in place on January 3 but was allegedly kept so secret that most within the organization fully believed WrestleMania 40 plans for Roman vs. Cody were going forward until a week ago. The fact that those in WWE were aware that The Rock would be headlining WrestleMania 40 makes the decision to book Cody Rhodes as the winner of the 2024 Royal Rumble even stranger. Had The Rock returned at the Royal Rumble and won, wrestling fans wouldn't be as furious at Dwayne Johnson as they are now. Unfortunately, the fact that Johnson allegedly locked himself in for the main event of WrestleMania behind the scenes, but didn't participate in the Royal Rumble, makes a longtime fan like me uneasy. While this may not be the case, that scenario implies that Johnson wanted the spectacle of competing on wrestling's grandest stage while not making the full effort to reclimb that ladder. That's not the kind of superstar I'd like to see hold the title especially not with the stipulation that he got that main event over Cody Rhodes. Hello lovely viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Shone, 
Hope your day is so well. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.